Is that a pinion drive? Trying for the land speed record, are you? Yes. <laughs> Today I'm going to try out the Roto Velo, which um, I haven't ridden before and uh, my mate has one sitting in his shop at the moment so I thought well I'm going to take it for a spin and see what it's like because I'm intrigued. Um, it weighs around 33 kilo kilograms, has a list, list price of 6,500 Australian dollars. Um, the body is rotational moulded, so basically like a plastic wheelie bin and uh, there is a carbon fibre option which I think is about 10 thousand nine hundred Australian dollars uh, and that saves a bit of weight that weighs 20 kilograms so basically it saves 13 kilograms of weight which is quite substantial but the one I'm going to try today is the rotational uh, molded version so I'm going to give that a go and see what it's like and I'll take you along for the ride hopefully it doesn't rain it is raining isn't it damn it okay that's Don Poncho so here's the beach you may have seen it on a previous video I tuck this lip on the edge underneath here which takes a bit of time and uh, if you're in a rush and it's pouring down no, it's going to take a while and I think the bike's going to get wet inside plus another thing is you can't ride it with this on which is slightly annoying I don't know why they didn't do like a little zip thing here or velcro but here we are you know for the price I think it's about 3,800 UK pounds for this brand new yeah. Okay. That's good stuff. Of course I've checked, baby. I'm going to take it for a spin. Did you just stand on the seat, Stuart? Yeah. Okay, I'm getting in. Yeah. Goodness. Does it have a reversing arm? Yeah. Oh, wow, this is weird. But it feels very, very, it feels very similar to uh, when I was in uh, the elevator. Oh, it's got a, is that an electric? It's a pinion. Okay, let's see what it can do. I don't know what half this stuff is for. Huh. Is that a pinion drive? Past the can you film in there? Yeah. And it has a pinion drive, which I've never used before in between there. So let's give it a go. Okay. Wow, this feels weird. Okay, first impressions, very, very bouncy. I think it's due to the lack of suspension. I mean, the rear feels quite comfy, but the front's bouncing up and down and the body moves a lot. Um, it feels uh, very rudimentary, like quite basic, quite slow, but definitely has a place, especially if, if you live in London. This is like brilliant. For if you live in the inner city and you just need something to commute to work, keep you dry and keep the weather off and uh, a really good price, the Rotobello is most probably the one to go for. But um, I don't think I'd want to go on a super long tour in it because uh, it's just a bit too basic and it's not kind enough. Um, but for the price, <laughs> It's a good entry level Velomobile to get into Velomobile and then maybe upgrade in the future. Yeah. So, all yeah. in all, I'd give it 5 out of 10. <laughs> 3,800 pounds? 3,800 pounds? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's wonderful. I think it's uh, it's awesome. it's amazing. Great. Yeah. It keeps, you, keeps the weather on. Camping gear yeah. and all that sort of yeah. stuff. Yeah. It's amazing. It's really good. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Um, not for me. <laughs> yeah, I'd give it a 5 out of 10. Um, I think I've just been spoiled by the WoW and the Quest. And I mean, 
if I had never tried a Velomobile before, a Quest or anything like that, and um, maybe compared with the Elevator, I would say this is lighter, but the Elevator rides better than the Rotor Velo. Okay. Yeah, and that's mostly due to the suspension. But then again, I would like to ride this for maybe a week and then make my mind up. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't purchase it, but maybe it, the, the review would be fairer. Turn around. All right. I'll turn around by that white van. Yeah. And then I'll come back. <laughs> I just yeah. lifted it up with too much strength. Mm. This is so light at the back. Okay, so we've just had a motorized front wheel turn up. Back wheel. Back wheel. Oh, it's the back wheel, of course. It's the back wheel, so it's geared. Yeah. So it's geared for a, a seven or a seven speed or a 21 gear um, thing. It's from Super Pedestrians called the Copenhagen okay. Wheel. Ah, I've heard of that. The city of Copenhagen was involved in the in the development? Yeah, mm -hmm. I Helped so. pay for the development somehow? There's a group in yeah. Cambridge, Massachusetts that built okay. it and did it as a Kickstarter. Um, um, and so they're starting, they've done their productions in the US now and yeah. now they're starting to do them in Europe. So wow. we just and got this one shipped and we're eager to set it up. Yeah. And what bike is it going on? It's going on my, uh, on my t Electra Townie. Oh, oh, a Townie. I yeah, love yeah. my townie. Oh, I used to have one, a black <laughs> one with the handle. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. 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 So everything is in, in there. Yeah. The, the yeah. motor. So um, where's the, there's the, there's the part yeah. that, okay, so here, that connects to the frame. To yeah, the, to it's actually, the, you know, And actually, then this guy is, is that the on-off switch? That's the switch. That's switch. And then there's a little flip guy here to show where you charge it. power when you charge it. Oh, cool. Yeah? And so then when you, yeah, yeah, you turn yeah. it on uh -huh. here, and then it lights up, and then your phone. This is awesome. Let's see if I can find my wheel app. There we go. So it opens up to a super pedestrian wheel app. That's mm -hmm. us riding it up and down the alley. <laughs> That's okay, and so, course, and then it will, you can set it up to run in different modes. So it'll mm -hmm. go in. Um, Hyper, what's not hyper, no, what's it called? There's an eco mode. E there's an eco a, mode, which is nice, a standard oh, and mode, and there's like, and there's like, like you're really crazy mode, like really fast. <laughs> it's fantastic. So it's fun. I've never seen one before. Super pedestrian. pedestrian. Company, yeah. Super pedestrian, yeah. And they're out of Cambridge, Massachusetts. Very, very slick. Yeah. <laughs>